This is Skip with Cub Scout Pack 404, and I'm going to show you how to set up an event in the calendar on Scoutbook. Um, Scoutbook is a great way to keep your parents informed and involved and make sure that they're aware of meetings and activities um, and events that you have going on. So you're going to log in, go to your dashboard, then you'll go to your unit. Uh, you can look at upcoming events right up here. You can see the first ones there. So what we'll do is we will add an event. So we have a, a couple of events. Um, I'll show you how to add here. When you go here, the first thing you're going to do is look at a calendar. So which type of, um, you know, whose calendar are you going to put this on? Is this a full pack event? Is this for one or more dens here? So we are um, working on our religious awards during uh, December and January. So for our Weeblows and Arrow of Lights for the Protestant Pray Award, that's a six week curriculum. And so I will come in and select these dens for, the, uh, for that one so that I can start entering those events. So I will set that, it will show all of those. Den meeting, um, so you have den meeting, day resident family camp training and other. I'm gonna go ahead and select other I wish there were more options here, but there's not. So we are going to say uh, duty to God, pray session one. So this is going to be at Southway Church. Um, I'm not sure which location it will be, so we'll take that out. So here you click the start time. So not sure why this did this. But so this will start on December 5th, and then it will start at 7 p.m. And it will go until 8 p.m. So we have that set. So again, we have the, the dens that are being invited. Um, it is an other kind of event. We have here the uh, description, the location, the start and the end. And then if uh, for different types of um, items here, you can see that it's an act, outdoor activity, a service project, scout strong, group fitness, otherwise. You can also put in here um, manage advancement. So if you are working on a specific um, type of advancement, you can see those in here. Uh, they don't have any options here for, um, let me see if awards are here. So they don't list the religious award here, so we won't put anything there. We will go in and do our invitees. And so for the dens that we have picked, you can see that all of the, the leaders are here and it's, it's selecting only those leaders. So those leaders, those parents, and those scouts. So we will set that, it will come up and give them, we'll wanna know who's coming. So we will select the RSVP and event description, session one for the uh, duty to God, pray religious award. Click save. And that is done. So we can see we have uh, the date here, all the information and everybody who's invited. So if I go back to my calendar, I'll show you one more um, example here. So for the calendar, so we are going to select, um, for uh, two of our Weeblows dens, our two girls Weeblows dens, uh, their den meeting. So it is their den meeting. So we are going to say uh, that it's a DIN meeting and we are going to be working on first responder. So it's at the Southway Church. And so it's going to start again on December 5th, or sorry, on December 4th at seven. We'll end on December 4th at eight. Uh, now for this one, we'll go and do the RSVP. We have our two scouts and our DIN leader. And for advancement, we will go down and we will do um, Weeblows Adventures. We'll select first responder and then we will click set. 
Now you can go in if you wanted to go into here and you can actually check or uncheck, uh, you know, specifically what to complete at home um, and what to do. So we know home assignments, uh, the DIN leader has asked us to do the uh, first aid kit and create an emergency response plan. So we'll check those two. And then here I'll double check and make sure that uh, we uncheck those here. And I don't believe we're gonna visit with the first responder that day. So we have set here. And you can see here, we're gonna be working on first responder at the event, we have those requirements. And a home assignment, we have those requirements. And then we click save, and that will show up on the calendar. The one shortcoming here is that uh, you can't select for a repeating event. So you can't say a DIN meeting is every Tuesday of the month at this time, or that uh, the thing for the religious award goes for six weeks or whatever. So you have to do each item individually. It would be nice if you could set a series and then edit individual ones for say advancement requirements, but uh, Scout Book doesn't allow that. So you do have to do them one at a time. But here with putting events in the calendar, uh, you can make sure that your Scouts are invited to things, your families are aware, they can get reminders. Oh, and actually, Let's go in and look at a reminder here. So for the first session of the, uh, the prey, so we'll edit the event and then we'll go down and manage reminders. So we will go down and we will do this, uh, say a week before, and then we'll do uh, three days before. We'll set that, and this will send a, um, a reminder to our parents via their email uh, that this event is coming in to go RSVP for it. So now we're saving the event and we are done. So hopefully this helps you with uh, managing your pack and your events and we will see you soon.